What's up, y'all? Got uh, what looks like a laceration to the chest, to the hip, and then also on his forearm. Anytime we get a call for a stabbing, the main concern is where the patient stabbed. So if it's anywhere to their head, neck, or torso, that's very life-threatening. How are his lung sounds? Clear. Clear all over? All right. We're going to go to uh, Tampa General, more than likely. Huh? So you don't want to go to the hospital? No, I can respect that. How's your breathing? Do you have any trouble breathing? Hurts? OK. All right, are you able to, uh, with assistance from this gentleman here, are you able to walk over here and have a seat for me? Did she cut you or did she direct stab you? Do you know? Somebody going to jail this time. She going to jail. Look, buddy, I know you're really upset, but you need to calm down and let me know what kind of treatment you want. No, she's not with you. I want to talk to the police. All right. You do understand the police will meet you at the hospital, right? You want to get your side of the story, right? I want my side of the story. Now you talking to her boy, they talking to me. I'm the one hurt. She ain't hurt. Ain't me unstoppable. I'm the one f***ed up. He's having tunnel vision. He's not really thinking about his own health at this point. He wants to make sure that he files his report. There's a lot of unknowns as far as internal injuries or how significant this stab wound is. And we really want to get him checked out as soon as possible. You're going to sign this right here for me. This states that you're not going. Here's the deal. If you don't want to go to the hospital, I need you to sign this. Right, man. I can't make you sign nothing. I don't want to sign it. OK, well, then, then here's the other option. At least let me check you out so I can make sure there's nothing life threatening right now. OK, listen what's no medical? OK, well, listen. I want to Sir, I ain't coming. Let's go. OK. Refusals are really, really tough. You always want to do everything you can within your ability to care for a patient and make sure that they get the ultimate care that they need. We always try our best, but at the end of the day, if they don't want to go, we can't force them. Went from being a trauma alert to a freaking refusal. Hey, man. What the hell? I mean, I don't know, but if someone stabbed me, I'd be going to the hospital. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're going to bleed to death. <laughs> Grab the knife! Grab the knife! No, they're not dead. I can work with that.